What is up you guys? I hope this lighting is better than what I normally do. Um But I'm trying to see if y'all can hear me well because I got the little ear thing right here. So I'm gonna see if y'all can hear me well. Okay, y'all can hold on. Okay, y'all can hear me well. Basically what I'm about to do right now, I'm gonna bring it straight to it. No intro, we're not really going on that, we just going straight to the video. Because I, this story time is really old. Uh, 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 about my first love. Well, I guess I was obsessed with them, so. First love. I was in, I'd say, I was out of school. We were in the fifth grade. And we were going to sixth grade, but this was at the beginning of sixth grade. So there was two. Okay, y'all. So we're gonna call him. We're gonna call him Jay. Okay, we're gonna call him Jay. Like J Y. We're gonna call him Jay. So basically, Jay was this dude who went to middle school. <laughs> Jay was a dude who went to out of school with me. We were really cool, you know. He, I know a lot of his friends. He knew some of mine. So we automatically seen each other a lot. We did a lot together. We were getting cool and cordial. Basically, yeah, we were getting cordial. Da, 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 da. Okay, fast forward. It's been like a month. We knew each other. I knew him. He was one of the cool kids. And let's not forget, he was older than me. He got kept back. Bada, bada. I cared about him a lot. We became good friends. We started talking every day. All the normal stuff. Then we actually did not start talking in fifth grade. We didn't start talking until my freshman year. When I, I don't know what happened, but in the fifth grade, he didn't leave our school to go to another school. But when I was a freshman, he was not a freshman. He was like junior so basically okay he's a junior he's cute all the girls like him i'm a freshman i want him mm -hmm. i don't know how that goes so on to the part where the story gets good okay so me and i started talking he started talking like this and that and i know that i'm down here he started talking up here and i'm down here we gotta level it because it started a rumor that going on that we were dating, we were dating at the time, but then we started dating. When we started dating, we would go out to like parties and stuff. And most of the parties would be with his friends and y'all, he's a junior, so most of his friends are seniors and juniors, but he has some sophomores there. And of course, I invited some of my friends, so that was cool. So one of my friends, we're gonna call her Kayla. So Kayla came up to me, she was like, there's a party this weekend, Jay's going to be there, you want to come? I'm like, yeah, Jay's going to be there, I get on my little outfit, I look cute or whatever, and I got to the party, and when I got to the party, okay, it was cool, everybody was having fun, I'm looking around for Jay or whatever, and when I found him, he was, up, he was upstairs. It's like one of the fire parties where the fire parties have like the downstairs, the drinks and stuff, all kind of drugs. And you go upstairs and there's like rooms because of course it's somebody's house that you're having a party with. So, what happened was I walked, up, I walked upstairs in the room and, okay, hold on, I feel like I skipped something. I asked one of his homeboys, his homeboys said he was up in the room. I go up in the room, he's sitting up there chilling, he's just on his phone, he's just vibing. I'm like, okay, my man, my man, my man. No. So, I walked up in the room. First thing, first I sit on the bed, we start talking for like a good two minutes. It wasn't long at all. Conversation was dry and awkward. Maybe. I don't know why. But I just felt something off. And keep in mind, I felt something off, okay? I felt something off. So, I go up, I go, I'm all the upstairs, okay? So, I felt some off, so the conversation was off, it was off for like two minutes or whatever. So, whoo! Okay, actually, I did make the camera taller, but I kind of like the other angle better. But whatever. So, 
So basically, yeah, we were up in the room. We talked for like two minutes. Conversation was awkward. I don't know what. Mm. So basically, he was like, "How about we?" <gasps> as soon as those words came out of his mouth, I should have known. I should have known. Cause from the jump that I met him, it's always. Why don't we this? Why don't we that? Why don't we do this? He's always suggesting something. I never suggested it because I was just shy. I was just nervous. He was fine. I wanted him. And, you know, I'm nervous. So, he said, why don't we this? Okay, first thing he said was, why don't we go to something to drink? Cool. I don't drink liquor. I just want juice. I fix my own cup. My own cup. So... That's what I did. I didn't even fix a cup because I was not, I'm not a party girl. So when I went downstairs, he was downstairs. He talked to his dudes a little bit. Then he came to the kitchen, get some drink. I just grabbed a soda out of the refrigerator. Keep in mind, I don't drink sodas. Um, so I didn't even end up drinking it. So he drank his drunk out drink. He drank his, he drank his drink or whatever. And then after that, he was like, "Okay, I'm getting bored. Da da da. I want to do something else." Keep in mind, he's always suggesting something. So my friend Kayla, she came upstairs to check on us like, okay, da 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 And I'm just looking at her like, that means bitch get me out of here. I don't want to be here no more. So I'm looking at her. I'm clearly giving her the signal and she just, it didn't click. So I'm like, okay. She left out the room. I'm like, fuck. Okay. And he's like, how about we? I mean, why don't we? And at first, I was like, okay, whatever. He said, why don't we go to the backyard and shoot some fireworks? I know that they have some fireworks in the garage. Okay, so me, Kayla, the dude that she was talking to, we go downstairs, go into the backyard. Boom. We're lighting fireworks. Okay, chill. We're having fun. And they're like, we're going to go to the store. We're going to go get some blunts. We're going to smoke and stuff. And I'm like, I'm not down for that. I don't do that kind of stuff. Or oh, whatever, whatever. Because I did it. I did it. If you know me from school, at the time. But, so, I'm just sitting here wondering, I'm like, Oh my God, this is really about to happen. So we're going to the store. I'm in the car. And there's like four dudes, including the dude that I was talking to and the dude that she was talking to. And there was only two girls and it was just two of us. We're, I'm just like, I can't add it up to where it'll make sense in my head. You get what I'm saying? I don't know why we even stepped into that car. So we seen them. They just kept moving. They weren't saying nothing. They were on their phone texting. And ladies, if you're ever in a situation like this, I really suggest you to look around. Because the on the phone texting part, that was the key that, oh, it's about to go down. We get to the gas station. Instantly, there's another car that comes up beside us. More people that they know. Car full of dudes. That was it. I was like, okay. Y'all, I'm tired of this camera falling. Okay, but, yeah, basically... We get to the gas station, I'm like, okay, babe, I'm going to go in the store. I go in the store. I'm feeling suspicious. My friend is feeling suspicious. We look at the freaking window. Like, we go to the back of the store, look at the window, because you can see the car from the back window, because they parked literally, like, towards the back of the store. We're like, <sighs> we're not this dumb. So, he texts me. He said, what do you think about all of us going to do something else fun and not going back to the store. I'm not going back to the house, to the party. I'm like, um, okay, sure, we're gonna get something to drink first. Okay, all those dudes outside, they're all around. We see all this shit happening and all that, and I'm like, it ain't gonna happen like this. I'm not gonna get kidnapped, no. So, then I text him, I was like, who are those extra dudes, you know I'm really, Anti-social, I don't like talking to a lot of people, and I'm getting anxiety, so what's going on? For real, for real, don't be dumb, don't play games with me. And then he was like, nothing. 
we're just gonna uh, go back to the party if you're feeling this kind of way or whatever, whatever. Then, keep in mind, I'm texting him and looking at the window. And then next thing you know, we just see him like, like hit his hand, like, like you know, we done messed up. We can't get him no more. And I was like, you know what? This is not giving anymore. So I went to the register. I was like, hey, we got our back door that we can go out. We're trying to leave. There's some see that group of guys outside. It's not looking bright for us. And the man was really nice. Nothing really happened. Honestly, we just ran away. We went out the back door and we ran. And then when we got to so right close, we called her. We called her mom for her mom to pick us up from the store that was further, further down. Just so her mom didn't think nothing was wrong. And my mom, she just picked me up from her house like nothing happened. I'll put this claim up from the video. But make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. If y'all like this lighting, I worked really hard to get this lighting. I did. But now I'm just going to do a few poses for my thumbnail. And yeah.